What's up to all of my erudite friends out there? This is the year-end erudite magic episode, and even though you're seeing this on January 2nd, Happy New Year! Let's look back at 2021. It's definitely been a year, but I'd like to capture some of the moments, the best of 2021, if you will, and go over those moments with you, my erudite viewers. If you enjoyed any episode of Erudite Magic in 2021, give this video a thumbs up and then sound off down in the comments below with what your favorite episode was. From the channel's perspective, this has been an awesome year. We did a lot of growth and we shared a ton of videos together. I totally can't wait to continue my journey with all of you, my erudite viewers, in 2022. So this is your opportunity to let me know. Gotta love being at mom's house. Grandfather clock, nutcrackers, Christmas central. Oh yeah. I also want to hear from you down in the comments below with what your favorite book was this year. Maybe I reviewed it, maybe I didn't, but let's talk about it. Hey, this is your opportunity to let me know what kind of things you want me to continue to do in 2022. In 2021, we offered a lot of new content we hadn't done before. I know that I started my interview series, kicking it off with Jim Kleefeld and his 9,000 book library. So if you haven't seen that episode, you definitely want to check it out. It was a great talk with him about how he acquired all of these books. What's the most that he spent on books? Does he have any regrets? You definitely want to watch it. While I was at Abbott's, I had the good fortune to speak to a number of professional magicians, getting their thoughts about books and specific recommendations they have for my erudite viewers. My first Abbott's was awesome, and I'm looking forward to doing more. I enjoyed my virtual interview with Andy Gladwin, which I broke into two parts because it was just so meaty and great to talk about how a book goes from being an idea, working with an author, getting written up and published, and how all that works. So if you haven't seen that, I found it to be incredibly fascinating, and Andy's such a nice guy to talk to. And to wrap up the interviews, I met with Mac King out in Vegas to talk about how books shaped his career and how they can shape yours. Honestly, guys, it was a dream come true for me to be able to reach out to one of my magical heroes, Mac King, and have him say yes to being interviewed in his dressing room in Vegas. Dreams do come true, and I want to thank all of you for making it possible, because without this channel, I really wouldn't have had any reason to interview him. So thanks for being along for this ride. I know the best is yet to come. Of course, I reviewed all of the latest and greatest, but I also enjoyed going back through and kind of giving you a review by giving you a study guide of the Art of Astonishment series and some of the other books that are older, like The Magic of Michael Marr, one of my first books that I ever obtained. Clearly, though, from the views, a lot of you really enjoyed the newer book releases. The most popular episode on my channel ever was published in 2021, and it was the review of Ozzy Wynn's Repertoire. Ozzy Wind is quite the mentalist and magician, and obviously with all of the hand-painted artwork, hardcover, beautiful, beautiful book, it's easy to see why so many people have watched it so much. Speaking of views, there's a lot to celebrate. You guys watched the channel with 86,200 views in 2021, which is just absolutely incredible. And that amounts to almost 8 thousand hours watched on the channel. Four full-time people watching these videos for 40 hours a week. That's totally awesome. Every time you click the like button, sound off in the comments below, or otherwise let me know that you're watching, it helps me to keep pumping out content week after week for erudite magicians such as you and me. My top five list was another debut series this year with top five magic book publishers, top five living magic creators, and most recently, the top five most read magic books in my collection. I'm sure I'll make more top five, and if you're thinking that maybe I should expand it to top 10, let me hear from you too. I did a few shorts, and honestly, I'm not super in love with that content or format. The 60 seconds feels very restrictive, and I'm not really an attention span kind of guy. I like to dig into something meaty like a book, and I feel like my viewers do too, but if you think that the shorts are really great, why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you like about them so I can focus more specifically on that aspect. Thanks in advance for your help. Oh yes, the trailers. I did 10 trailers this year to lead up to the premiere, and eh. Yeah, I know, the trailers really didn't make a difference, so I'm probably not going to do them, but I did have a little fun with them, so let's watch one of my favorite trailers from this past year.
lot of fun putting them together, and it was pretty great to overly dramatize what was coming, which essentially was a book review. But I don't think it made a lot of difference on the channel, but if you enjoyed them, sound off below with what your favorite trailer was. As you know, Don's Magic and Books sponsored most of this year after we connected in February 2021, and I really appreciate his partnership in helping to put books in your hands at affordable prices, and especially when he's able to proffer some of those out of print or rare books, although he clearly has all the new ones as well. I'm gonna share with you one final opportunity to save with Don this year. If you apply the code 2021 at checkout this week, you can save 10% off the lowest marked price on anything on his website. And as always, he's offering free media shipping in the United States for orders over $20. Thanks for showing Don's support as well as the channel and keeping those magic books front and center in our lives. I really don't think I can express enough how grateful I am for every one of you and that you choose to share part of your weekends or whenever it is that you watch with me here on Erudite Magic. I'm excited for what 2022 will bring. I do plan to be at Magi Fest in a couple of weeks, and if you're going to be there, please say hi. I love to meet and connect with other Erudite magicians. 2022 is gonna be a great year, so until next time, all my Erudite friends, keep reading.